what's going on GoPro community um, so I'm gonna be helping a lot of you guys out um, I see some people posting that they're having issues with their GoPro and um, Streamlabs OBS or getting it to connect to the computer this that and the other um, first and foremost you gotta make sure your GoPro is on it is in GoPro connect mode um, if it is in the other form it will not work it's gotta be in GoPro connect mode if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you a little quick link how to do that now. All right, now that we have it in that correct mode, what you gotta ensure now is that you have a USB-C 3.0 cable. A lot of people seem to be using the GoPro's a standard cable or any other cable that just so happens to be USB Type-C correction. Um, the problem is it's not a USB 3 port. The easiest way to tell this is by looking inside of the male port in your USB. If you can see only four metal prongs, it is not a USB 3. But if you look inside of it and you can see nine ports, it's very difficult to uh, you know, tell. But you'll see four flat points and then five additional raised points in there. I'll try to get a good high-def photo for that and add it somewhere here on the video for you to see that. And it'll be good to go. Next step is to make sure your GoPro is on, connect it to a USB 3 port on your computer. Now, this is where the struggle is. Everybody's connecting it, and you know, you have the GoPro logo, the webcam's not working. All right, what you got to do from there is go down here to the bottom of the screen to your GoPro webcam. You'll get the blue light. Click preview. It'll take a second for it to connect, and once it does, we're here. Don't minimize this. I'm sorry, I got dual screens, but don't minimize it. Come down, reopen your Streamlabs again, and there it is. It's staying there. Now, if you want to tweak it or uh, alter it in any way, shape, or form, you can also notice down here it's a little red. But if you want to tweak anything or change it, you can do it down here by right-clicking, lens mode. Say we want to switch it to a wide mode, right? It's going to take it a little minute to catch it. Switches it to wide. Switch it back up to, let's see linear it's going to squish it down a little bit again give it a second it's going to catch up boom it's more linear i find that to get the average viewpoint that every other camera has switch it to narrow and it looks just fine from here you go on to your device you can click properties you can configure it to any way shape you want um you can flip it uh vertical you know color space change all that you have to go, excuse me, you have to go into detail doing that. But another way, let's say if you want it a very specific side, let's say if I want it to, uh, for instance, keep the camera how it is and just focus it on that helmet right there on the table. Oh, excuse me. What you want to go do is go over here to transform, uh, edit transformation, and it's going to give you all these options right here. Now, this is where you pull this off of the side so you can see your camera and crop it. This can be a pain in the ass, excuse my language, but what you gotta do is just change this number. If you notice how it crops it slowly. So what I typically will do, will guess with a high number, so going that way is the wrong direction. I don't wanna go from the left. I wanna go from the right. So I'll hit 500, 5,000 is way too much. Let's go to 900, almost there. 1,000, closer, let's do 1,200, look at that, bam, now I want to shrink that down, let's bring it down, 500, too much, let's go 450, a little bit too much, but you get the picture, 400, and it's in picture, we'll go here, and go another 400, Oop, I did 4,000, another 400, now, you want to squeeze it in just a little bit better, you can go left a little bit, we'll go left 200, and we'll add another 200 to the right just to squeeze it in better and boom 
were focused primarily on that helmet. Now, I'll have to get into view to get in there, but that's how we do it. But we're going to go ahead and keep it set to 000, zero, zero because the easiest way to do this is you click the little arrow here, hold shift, and you can move it all the way around and move how you want. Uh, oh, sorry, shift clip gets free reign. Don't click shift. That uh, Let me correct that. But you can go bam, 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 bam. You can play with it all you want. And that's how you guys do it. So if anybody has any problems, please message here on the board, and I'll try to help out. Um, GoPro beta makers, uh, guys, uh, if you guys are watching this video, please put in the notification or the instructions that they have to use a USB 3 cable. Um, so far, I've seen it a few times and every update now and then but it is not on there enough. Let me see if I can show you guys real quick what a USB normal looks like. Excuse me. If it'll focus, you can only see in there those four prongs, right? It's not easy doing that, but you only see four prongs in there, right? And this is the stock GoPro cable. This cable here it's not USB-C because I have it connected to my GoPro, but this is a USB 3 cable. If you get in there and look, you can see that not only does it have those four prongs, but in the back it has those five additional prongs in the back. Hopefully we can see that just a little bit better. It's not easy to focus this GoPro, but I will try to have a good high def photo somewhere in here, like I said earlier, to help that out. So if that causes a lot of, if that fixes a lot of confusion for everybody, um, I hope it solves the answer. I'm using Windows 10, uh, AMD, uh, Ryzen 7, I believe. Yes, I have a Ryzen 7, uh, RTX 2060. Um, what else? I have 32 gigs of RAM. I don't think that's necessary. I can't remember which firmware I'm upgraded to, but ever since I switched to that cable and got the camera settings right, everything seemed to work out just fine so hopefully I'll be able to help that I was able to help everybody um, oh I think that nope that's not a USB type 3 well yes I hope this helps everybody I'm gonna to try to condense this as in short fast easy to understand as I can and hopefully I didn't mispronounce or got any of the uh, connection issues wrong but thank you guys for watching and I hope this sets everything up